everyone. So a couple weeks ago, I did a video on what lives in cheese. And afterwards, a bunch of you asked me to do a similar piece on beer. So I wanted to do this quick bonus video because I actually met this really cool microbiologist named Anne Madden, who, along with her colleagues, has been making beer out of yeasts found in insects like wasps. It's pretty cool stuff. So I want to tell you all about that, but before I do, I guess I should probably jump back and like explain how beer is made. So most beers are made of four ingredients. There's water, there's a plant called hops, which gives the beer that bitter flavor and also was historically added for its antimicrobial properties. There's a grain like barley or wheat, which is referred to as malt, and then there's yeast. Now, yeast is a living thing and it eats the sugars in the barley or grain in a process called fermentation releasing alcohol and CO2, which is what makes the beer bubbly. And on top of that, up to 50% of the flavor of beer actually comes from the yeast as well. Interestingly, in modern beer production, we actually only use two species of yeast, and yet it leads to this whole diversity of flavors. If just two species of yeast can produce such a huge variety of flavors, imagine what cool flavors other species of yeast could create. That's actually what Anne's been working on, along with her colleagues Rob Dunn and John John Shepard, all three of whom work at North Carolina State University. What you might not realize is that yeasts actually live on and in lots of different things, including insects. In fact, there was this paper a while back on how wasps are actually natural reservoirs for winemaking yeasts. So the scientists kind of started there, and since then they've been collecting yeast from wasps along with lots of other insects. And then once they collect it, they take it back to the lab and try to make beer out of it. And they've had some pretty cool success. So for example, they found one strain that makes what I've been told is a pretty delicious sour beer. And that's actually quite rare since most sour beers are made by adding bacteria to the mix, but that can kind of be a problem if you're making lots of different types of beers because the bacteria can really easily contaminate all of your different brews. So just to be clear, the scientists are not killing thousands of insects in order to make a batch of beer. They just need one insect um, from which they'll isolate the strains of yeast that they're interested in and then culture those, um, and then they actually will like keep that culture in the lab and we'll have it whenever they want to make another batch of that uh, beer again. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I think this topic is super interesting, so please let me know if you have any questions, and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.